Hi, this is Dan from the ECU Pro. I'm going to show you what components we need and where they're located on this 325. We're going to need your DME. It'll be MS43 or MS45, depending on your vehicle. The EWS and one mechanical key. Not the key coil, just send us the key. Once we have these three pieces, we can take one of the cars out of our fleet, install your components on it, start it, run it, see what happens if it's, uh, if it's a test, and everything's fine, we charge you a small fee, and ship all the components back, and you can diagnose something else with your car. If there is something wrong with it, we can repair the DME, maybe these two ran out of sync, or possibly this is water damaged or burnt, and we need to replace it with a working component. For removal of the DME, turn the car off, take the key out, pop the hood. It's gonna be located over here in the upper right corner. There'll be a cover on top of the box. I'm gonna take this off. It looks like three, four screws are holding it down. There's gonna be two computers in here. One is gonna look like this with the black plugs. That's the one we want. We don't want the one with the blue plugs. The blue plugs is transmission control module. We want the DME. For the EWS, we need the EWS and key to make sure we can sync it all together and it'll be plug and play when you get when you get it back. To remove this, driver's side, take the panel down. It's usually two or three screws. You pull the panel down. Ours is off just because we use it so much. And this will be uh, mounted up there with one 10 millimeter bolt. It'll be sitting like this. Take the bolt out and it will slide and then disconnect it. 